Okay, I thought I'd give a quick update on how I'm getting on with the geometry book. We've, we're most of the way through choosing the polyhedrons we're going to work with. Um, oh, I'll be doing all of the main ones, so don't worry, there'll be two frequency, three frequency, etc, etc. Um, but I thought I'd give you a quick update and uh, let's have a look at a, a, a bit of a problem as well. This is the, on the right here, is the truncated icosahedron. Lots of people will know this one. Um, what I do is I would then, then triangulate this face, push it out into a six-sided pyramid, and this one a five-sided pyramid, and make a three-frequency dome, like that. So this gets converted into that. And what I'm showing in the book is that the, um, we're going to start with um, the basic platonic solids, like the icosahedron, and we'll show you how we go, we get how we how it gets to this, so you'll understand clearly how you get to this, and then to this, and that these are this is the next step from this one. The one I had up before this one is related to the truncated icosahedron. Not pe many people know about this one. This is the truncated um, tricontrahedron. It, it has hexagon and pentagon faces, but the the um, hexagons aren't regular hexagons and you, as you can see that um, this these don't match this has three hexagons joining together and this one just has edges uh, it's like alternating between hexagons and pentagons now so this is a different family these are what I would call uh, like a yin and yang they're related but they're kind of opposite to each other uh, now as I document this uh, it's it's fairly straightforward to establish what's related and how things are related, but I'm got I've got this problem showing up. Uh, I'll show you a few polyhedrons and see if you can grasp the pro the problem. Uh, this one here uh, is the deltoidal hexacontahedron, uh, which gives you no clue of what it's related to or how you get to it at all. This this is the rectified truncated um, tricontrahedron. Now that's a mouthful. Do you get where I'm, uh, where the problems are rising? Snub dodecahedron, and rhombic icosi dodecahedron, and therein lies the problem. Uh, Tricontrahedron there. This is the oh, where are we at? This is the um, parent to the uh, two frequency dome. You would just triangulate this pent uh, pentagon face to get a uh, two frequency dome. And this one's called the icosidodecahedron. This one has no name. There is no no uh, polyhedral name for this uh, rhombic cuboctahedron, but it's also called the truncated cuboctahedron. Uh, this is the this is the pentacus dodecahedron. Uh, now we've got a couple of options with this. It comes from it. It is the parent. To this is the dodecahedron. You can see that in the red lines. That's just a simple dodecahedron. And you triangulate the faces and push them out into um, pentagonal pyramids. But you've got a choice. You can either push the pentagonal pyramid out so that all the dihedra, all the dihedral angles are equal. That's what I do. Or you can push it out further till this point here meets the sphere. But the di the dihedrals aren't the same. Aren't the same. You get two different dihedrals. And you can also continue to push it out till you get a stellated dodecahedron so they're all basically the same thing but they, but they have lots of different names for them um which is confusing and not helpful so i was going to um rename all of the polyhedrons uh, i'll of course include all of the technical names in the book but i'd like to rename them so that they have um common names if you like common easy to pronounce names i was thinking something maybe five or six letters example being this is the truncated icosahedron but it's affectionately known as the bucky ball named after buckminster fuller i might run a competition or i might invite people to name them or i might just have a put a video up where i uh, describe the polyhedron and then we just Go for names. You just randomly shout a name in the comments of a, of a YouTube video. Something like that. 
It's just so that we can uh, have a simple, easy to remember name for each polyhedron. Let me know what you think, if that's shockingly bad for science or if you think it's a good idea. So let me know in the comments if it's a good idea or a bad idea. Um, I'm hoping to, to run a Kickstarter. Uh, this is nearly nailed in now, so I'm hoping to run a Kickstarter and um, that'll pay for the cover. It'll just be a cheap Kickstarter. Uh, but I want to, I, I kind of want a nicely uh, designed um, front cover, and that can be kind of expensive. So it, the Kickstarter probably just go to pay for a professional to do the cover. Of course, I'll keep you in the picture uh, with the cover, uh, the cover design, and everything before we have it up. Um, maybe run a Kickstarter, and it will look like maybe getting this finished in the next four to six weeks, uh, and then it's just a case of how long it takes to publish it. Uh, I shouldn't think it'll take that long, but it's got to be formatted, copyright checked, and then published after that. But I'm uh, expecting to finish all the drone in the next four to six weeks. Um, I'll keep you in the picture. Let me know what you think below, and I'll catch you in the next one.